Hi, I'm Emily and I'm part of a group with George, Sarah and Adam and um, I'm making this vlog in order to answer one of our evaluation points but unfortunately we couldn't all be together in order to make it so i am kind of got some notes from them and I'm just voicing over their opinions as well as mine. So I think that we learnt quite a lot about technologies throughout the construction of our opening. Um, we learnt how to use a better quality camera because the cameras offered to us by the school weren't that great, like the shots came out quite pixelated and they didn't seem sort of real, if that makes any sense. So we, can't, we used George's camera, which meant that we could focus in, on the camera, which we couldn't on the school camera. And we learnt how to do other functions, such as a push-pull focus, which um, we really needed at the end when we were looking at sort of scissors and pins and stuff like that to show how sinister the school is and which kind of added an element of mystery. So that's a positive thing about the technology with George's camera. We also, the technology of a car, <laughs> we used um, in order to get our tracking shot. So because George can drive, it meant that he could be driving while I would um, have the window open and be um, filming Sarah. Um, this piece of technology was obviously very helpful for us as it produced quite a professional looking shot and um, it proved to be very positive with our teacher and stuff like that. We also managed to find a piece of software called Movie Pro, I think it was called that. It did cost us money, however it did give us the advantage of making our shots quite smooth and it did it really well actually, so that was another positive thing about a new discovery of technology. Um, a negative point about the technology that we used was that iMovie, because we had to do quite a lot of shots for each sort of frame, because we wanted to get more than one just to make sure we had a good one, um, we once we imported them onto iMovie, it made it quite slow because of all like the footage on there, which meant that editing it was quite long and um, tedious, but we got there in the end. Um, also on iMovie, like Movie Pro, there are like lots of ways we can perfect the shots, like we can use the stabilising button, which was like our best friend. But I did find that when we did come to stabilise our shots, it zoomed in, and I also thought that it reduced the quality of our shots, which is probably probably a positive, but it depends on the shot, because if we wanted to close up and we wanted to stabilise it, it did zoom in quite a lot, so it cut quite a lot out of the frame that we needed. So... It came with its good and bad points on that one. Um, we also learned how to use Movie Pro to quite a good extent, and George did actually. Um, he learned how to kind of stabilise shots on there and edit on there a little bit. But we didn't use it as much as iMovie, but it was a very, we had to pay for it, but it was a very helpful piece of technology that we wanted there. Uh, we also had a problem with the camera life. Because obviously we had to go out and film for a whole day in order for the continuity of our opening to be okay. Um, we had to spend the whole day out there and obviously we've got a limited time because the camera's on battery. Um, it did mean that we had to go back once to the house to recharge the camera. But overall, it, you'd, thought, you'd think that if you were filming out for like... I think we were out for like about eight hours filming the camera would have died at least a couple of times but it only died on us once which was very good um, we also thought that iMovie was quite user friendly I think anyone would think that though like if you've been editing before it meant that cutting shots was very easy like splitting them and adding in music and stuff like that so that was a very helpful piece of technology because we used it for like most of our editing and that's how we got text on it as well. <clears throat> we also used websites such as like SlideShare and Prezi and Jing and stuff like that in order to actually put forward our ideas and research like before actually starting to film and stuff like this and YouTube as well like all technology like that all contributed even though it wasn't to actually film our thing. It was a very positive way because it meant that we had loads of variety of how we've like put forward ideas like we've got pictures and we've got a powerpoint and then you've got just like word in order to just write out your ideas. 
I think that we've all learned quite a lot about the technologies throughout the construction of our opening. But I think that we've all learned different things. Like George was mainly responsible for filming and the camera work. So I think that you, like, as much as he did it before, he's obviously learnt new things. Like he had no idea how to do the critical focus on his camera before and stuff like that. I also think that Adam and Sarah were probably mainly responsible for the research, like towards our products. So I think they learnt more about like um, programs such as SlideShare and um, Prezi and all things like that. I think that I have been, like, I don't know, I've kind of been a bit of everything really, and I've done like, a bit of research, I've done a bit of camera work and stuff like that, but I think mostly I've learnt more about different software, like, I know obviously how to use iMovie, but I learnt more how to kind of edit your credits and add a filter, add sound, foleys and things like that, and I think I've also done a bit on the camera, like the tracking shot. I have to um, obviously keep it steady and stuff like that. Like, it doesn't seem very technical, but I think I still learnt my fair share in each sort of area. But everyone has. But I think obviously people have excelled differently at different things.